The Virginia Peninsula Food Bank says it's trying to keep up as more people come to the pantries for help. Ants Baracco takes us to today's mobile food pantry at the Hampton Coliseum, where volunteers gave out the entire food supply fast. Volunteers with the Virginia Peninsula Food Bank are not slowing down. How are you today? As people hurry to get meals at the mobile food pantries. Where we normally plan for 200 households, we brought enough food for 250 households and we gave it all out within an hour. The food bank's chief executive officer, Karen Joyner, says they often overestimate how much food is needed at these mobile sites. But this trend volunteers are seeing is bringing back memories of what they saw during the height of the pandemic. During COVID, of course, we had a huge increase and then we saw it go down, but now we're seeing it inch up again. Joyner says it's tough seeing more families come through in need of this help, but she says she doesn't want them to lose hope when they show up and the mobile pantries are out of food. Particularly when we're out at one of these distributions and we run out of food, I hate to have to tell people we're out of food, but we always have another distribution coming up. Joyner says she believes a big part of this increase in people needing food assistance is because the eviction moratoriums and the federal unemployment benefits are expiring across the nation. She says she expects to see these trends continue into the holiday season. In Hampton, Ann Sparocco for 13 News Now. Joyner says with some students still taking virtual classes, the Food Bank continues to work on providing healthy meals to students in Hampton Roads.